Russ Bowen and medical expert Dr. Kevin Campbell have a special segment now loaded with tips on being prepared to prevent drownings. The unofficial start to summer is this weekend, and for many families, it means hitting the pool or the beach. But every year, thousands die in drowning incidents. By far, young children are the most at risk. The CDC says three children die every day as a result of drowning. Our medical expert doctor, Dr. Kevin Campbell, is here with us right now to tell you how to stay safe and what do you want to do? You know, the most important thing is be aware, be alert, and don't leave children unattended. You know, there are so many drowning deaths every year, almost 4,000 a year. Year, and a lot of these are children under the age of 14. So how is it different between what to do safe, you know, in terms of the pool and the beach? You know, certainly the pool is a more controlled environment. You don't have the waves. You don't have the undertow. And if you're alert and, you know, as a parent supervising, you need to avoid alcohol so you're alert and not distracted. The beach is a different story. You've got the waves. You've got the undertow. You've got the uh, noise. The noise and, and, and you may not be as close to your children when they're in the shore. You know, what I always like to tell parents is make sure that one of the two of you guys are in the water with the children, especially when they're under the age of 14, because the, the ocean can be very, very difficult to manage even for an adult if the, the tide is rough. Now, let's say that I'm a <coughs> grandparent and I'm watching the kids for the weekend or for the summer and I have a pool in the backyard. What do I need to do that's different? Because I'm a little older, less agile. Perhaps. Well, the first thing you need to do is set real clear rules about the pool use with your grandchildren. You need to make sure that there's barriers around that pool, that you have to open a fence to let them in and out or a gate or something of mm -hmm. that sort. Don't be distracted. Always be vigilant. Make sure that, you know, you're right there with them. Don't even turn around for three or four minutes. If you're missing a child, all of a sudden, the first place you should look is the pool because minutes can save lives. Okay, Doc, thanks so much. We have